Hey everyone and welcome to Meal Prep Sunday. I'm going to be showing you how I prep my meals for the week and today's prep will be eight meals, three lunch meals, and five dinner meals that will run from Monday through Friday. So here's what I'm going to be prepping today. Three of the beets, sauerkraut, and quinoa Buddha bowls. That's one cup of sauerkraut, a half a cup of quinoa, and one cup of beets. And a Jamaican jerk marinade sauce cup. One Southwest chicken bowl, and that is a piece of salsa chicken. One half cup of black beans. One cup of brown rice. One half cup Southwest corn and one salsa cup, one cup of salsa in a cup. Um, two Brussels sprout bean salads and chickens. That's one cup of Brussels sprouts, two cups of bean salad, a piece of grilled chicken, and a barbecue cup. And then two of the sweet potato, broccoli, quinoa, and black bean bowls. That's one cup of sweet potatoes, a half a cup of quinoa, two cups of steamed broccoli, and a tahini dressing cup. So, here is what I'm going to be having to do today. I've already got my brown rice. I've got my brown rice and my quinoa already made. And that is in containers. Let's see if I can lift you up without getting dizzy. Containers back there. All right, so what I'm going to start on now is I'm going to prepare my Brussels sprouts and my salsa chicken, and I'm going to put those in the oven together to save some time. All right, I'm going to start with my Brussels sprouts. These are petite Brussels sprouts. They're lightly seasoned already, but I'm going to put more seasoning on them. So I'm just going to add those to the bowl. I'm going to make the whole bag because what's left I'm going to have for dinner tonight what I don't use for my meal prep. So, in the bowl with the Brussels sprouts. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. So, now that I have the olive oil coating the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to be adding, I already have everything measured out. Let me move this so I can show you as I talk about it. In this bowl, I have all of my seasoning measured out. I have one teaspoon of thyme, three-fourths of a teaspoon of ground pepper. Just as a side note, I do not like the um, Target brand, the Market Pantry brand of the pepper grinder. It doesn't come out very well. I think it's the McCormick that I like a lot, so I'm not going to be purchasing that again. Um, also, it calls for paprika, but I did not have any paprika, or I did not have chili powder. So what I used instead was a teaspoon of taco seasoning mix. I figured that was kind of the same thing, maybe. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, and I've never used cinnamon in a vegetable recipe. I, of course, I've used it to bake with, but... Oh no, this is the cumin. I'm sorry. This is um, a half of a teaspoon of cumin. And then here's the cinnamon. Um, like I said, I've never used cinnamon in a vegetable recipe, but it called for a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I put it in and we'll see how that turns out too. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. I have the hot kind, and then I just threw in, because I like onion, I threw in some dried instant diced onions. So that's what's in here, and I'm going to add that, let me get all my seasonings out of the way, I'm going to add that to my Brussels sprout bowl. It's 
smells good. Hopefully it'll taste as good as it smells. I'm running out of space to put things, guys. All right, so then I'm going to move this out of the way. And there's my baking sheet lined with foil. I need to get some parchment paper because parchment paper is so much better than foil, but that's what I have for right now. I'm gonna put some olive oil on the sheet. And kind of smear that around. Like I said, I'm gonna put in my salsa chicken alongside of this so everything can get kind of done so I can save some time because they both have to cook for bake for almost the same amount of time all right so I'm just going to turn out my brussels onto the baking sheet they're all nice and coated it's going to scrape my bowl and get all the seasoning out that's stuck in there Smooth them out till they're just in a single layer. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so then in another baking dish, don't judge me for the look of this dish because this looks really, really nasty. But it looks nasty because I use it all the time. It's my favorite go to casserole dish. You can see it's been used quite a lot if anyone knows how to get that off of there you can let me know but I assure you it's clean just stained <laughs> so to that I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil I only need one piece of salsa chicken for this recipe for my meal prep but I'm gonna go ahead and make two because I'll have one for tonight for dinner. I'm gonna plan ahead, guys, plan ahead. So smart. Trying to get that all happy, happy. Okay, to that I'm going to add, maybe over here, just a little bit, some pepper, and some salt. I try not to use too much salt, but I have to have a little bit, right? And then I have a container of the Paste Chunky Salsa. Paste Chunky Salsa. Sorry, my hand's so close to the camera. Um, like I said, I'm running out of room, guys. I'm not really going to measure it. I'm just going to pour some over it. Probably about a cup, I'd, I'd assume. Maybe a bit more. Okay. Spread that all around there. All right, all of this is going to go into a 400 degree oven and it's going to bake for approximately 25 to 30 minutes and then I'll check it after that and see how it's doing and I will be back with my next step. 
All right, I'm gonna move on to my sauce cups. So my first one is going to be the tahini dressing cups. So to these two containers, I'm gonna add a tablespoon each of tahini. Starting to run out of my tahini. I love this. I never, this is the first time I tried it this past month and I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but I am hooked. It is delicious. There's not much more left in the jar, so I'm just going to scrape it out. So I'll have just a little bit more than a tablespoon. Okay, and to that I'm going to add one tablespoon of boiling water. It's not quite boiling anymore, but it's still hot. And I'm going to put the lids on and I'm going to shake this. I'm going to shake it kind of vigorously until it gets thick, which does not take long. You can already see it's gotten thick. Do the same for this one. And it's thick. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to pop the lids off. And you can see how that thickened up really quickly. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of room temperature lemon juice. It has to be lemon um, room temperature because if it's not, it will make the tahini very thin and runny. And that is not good. I'm going to do one teaspoon in each. I'm also going to do just a little bit of salt. I'm not even going to measure it because I try not to use too much salt. And then I'm also going to use a teaspoon of the minced garlic. I buy it in the water, not oil. So I love garlic and it's very healthy for you. So that's that. And then we're gonna return the lids. And shake again. And there is the tahini dressing. This is what I use with my sweet potato, black bean, and quinoa. There's two of my, just make sure it's stirred up and everything's kind of happy, happy in there. If you've never had tahini before, it has kind of a nutty taste to it. It's very good. All right, those are those two done.